So that's a great uh, sign right there, stable at step three. Everything is at flight pressures. We're now the only thing left, Joshua, is that final status check uh, with the whole team. 25 seconds. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Lucy. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. Atlas V takes flight, sending Lucy to uncover the fossils of our solar system. Tower clear. Body 180 propellant utilization has gone to close loop control. The vehicle has begun to pitch yaw roll into her. Now, 30 seconds into flight, vehicle is 0.6 miles in altitude, traveling at 939 miles per hour. Body 180 performance continues to look good at this time. Engine pump speeds and injector pressures are in family for this thrust level. Attitude remains stable at this time. Attitude rates near zero in all, in all axes. Now at T plus 70 seconds into flight, vehicle is 4 miles in altitude, 0.2 miles downrange distance, traveling at 1200 miles per hour. Mark 1, Alice is now supersonic. is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. The vehicle is now throttling down slightly. Body 180 engine parameters continue to look nominal after the prior adjustment to the thrust level. Approximately two minutes remain in the Atlas booster phase of flight. The Atlas V rocket weighs now just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of 2,600 pounds per second. We have a beautiful launch sequence there. Uh, we do have uh, another minute and a half or so to go with the booster in operation. And we have Pico booster engine cutoff and a successful stage separation event. So what you're seeing on screen is an animation that's being driven by actual telemetry. Booster on the RL-10. All right, so there we go. Uh, we should see the, fair, the fairing jettison here. We have indication of good tail of fairing jettison. And there we go.